Hello friends, today I will show a solution of a problem in iPhone 5, the older versions of iPhones. Uh, the problem is, um, the problem is called iTunes cannot, iTunes store is unable to process purchases at this time. Uh, this problem has arised because of a thing that I have done I want to show in detail that I did a thing that is I show that I, 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 I cleared the data how I went to the settings then general and my uh, older version of apps some of the apps were taking too much space so I wanted to free up some of the storage space so what I did was I uh, went to the um, I went to settings then I went to storage and iCloud usage and then I went to manage storage then I went to manage storage and then I uh, deleted the data like this like the Facebook the data documents and that I, I, I did delete app from this area from this settings place and so what happened that when I went back to reinstall the app when I went back to reinstall the app, then when I went back to reinstall the app, uh, the, the, this message was coming from my iPhone, uh, from the App Store, from the iPhone App Store. That uh, an arrow was coming, and if you try to download with the arrow, it, it's an old problem. I searched in the internet about it, the solution but uh, no one was able to give the correct solution one of the solution was that if you, you log out from the um, your iCloud iCloud and iCloud and iTunes store and then you log in again and then you sh it should work I tried it initially it was not working so uh, later I found out that you have to do a reset uh, after after you logging out you restart your phone and then without logging into iPhone store, uh, iTunes store, the, the, if you uh, go to the app store and then try to download, then it works. Initially, I thought that password changing would uh, work, but it was working only one time. N later time, it was not working. So I found out the solution. The solution was like this, that uh, you saw that app store is not taking my emo. I, I deleted emo. And emo is not coming back. So if you try to install emo, the iTunes store is unable to process the purchase at this time. So what you have to do is you you close everything. You close everything and then you go to settings. You go to settings and then you go to iTunes and App Store and you click on the apple id and you do sign out okay you sign out and then you you do a reset because signing out and signing in was not solving my problem so after after many trials for many disappointing days when i did this that after logging out I, I I restarted the phone. I restarted the phone, and then without logging in, you have to go to the App Store. Why doesn't it start? It's coming. It's coming back. After coming back, it will ask for the passcode of your phone, the four, four digit passcode. So this problem actually occurred because uh, iPhone team has stopped support supporting the 32 based system that means the older older ios 
apps so iphone 5 they're trying to phase it out so now what will you do you are locked out you see you are actually locked out from the itunes stuff then you go to the app store and you saw that because i deleted the emo app it was not getting reinstalled so i go to the emo app and reinstall it emo See now the get button is coming because you logged out and after logging out you reinstalled but now they will ask for the password now you sign in using existing apple id and i am just not showing my id so but you give it and it will work yeah password see i i've given my id and now it will start to download see that uh, that uh, annoying dialog back dialog box is gone and it has worked so this is where all of the apps which you have deleted from uh, the storage management uh, you can again reinstall earlier i tried it for one week in many given ways in the internet but it didn't work so this is the solution this is how to get rid of that annoying message thanks for watching hope to see you again guys guys ladies and gentlemen hasta la vista